The Wii U is dead now. The eShop is formally closed. So all those games you loved on the prototype from the Nintendo Switch, you can't download them anymore because Nintendo hates you. First, I need to know how many players are going to be joining in on the party today. Oh, okay, and how many people are ordering like the Domino's extra large meatball pizza? Just one. It's like, it's like not quite Mario Party. Really is just not quite Mario Party. Like it's the same. I think this is an exact mini game from Mario Party too. Expert level AI. I already made a mistake. I gotta stop smack talking them. Why am I not? Why am I not catching them? Don't think we're winning this first one. Yeah, I'll take I'll take joint last. Very sad to see the Wii U go. Well, it's okay. We get to send it off, you know. Like these games are no longer available, so now we got to play them to like document them. So this, this like, you're watching the History Channel now. I was not able to play this game without the Wii U gamepad, right? You want to see what the Wii U gamepad is currently saying? This is I, I couldn't launch this game without this gamepad working. Like I, it physically wouldn't start. And this is all it displays. Oh, wait, no, this is what it's for. Oh my God, it's displaying it on the gamepad. It's an identical screen to what's on the TV. Oh, we're just, we're just zooming. I mean, they they can just see us if they look at the TV. Oh, okay, we're trying to confuse them. That's what it is. Well, minigame's over now. Finish. I'm glad we had the technology that only the Wii U gamepad could provide for that round. Okay, it now just says look at the TV again. I got I gotta bop him. Come on. <laughs> we got him. No Chad is a match for our beloved boy. Common RT win. <laughs> like every time he just he just does it correctly. This is why I watch. So I gotta kick the blue balls in. Okay. Can I just go in the goal and like just kick out all the other balls? What if I just like hide like which which color is Massimo? He's red. Just start kicking his ball like into like the corner of the map or something. Common Massimo L. <laughs> it's like such a buzzword already. <laughs> oh AI, please switch to the gamepad. I'm, I'm glad I've got this piece of tech. Wait, I can actually see the AI's perspective on the gamepad. Oh wait, no, no, I can't. Um it stops working. As many as possible. These are such low rolls. Constantly below average. Too bad you have to roll 10 dice and move back that number of spaces. Jesus Christ. 10 dice. Oh my god, I've just lost. I've just lost. Oh my god. Why? First, the fort. Yeah, it turns out you're running the opposite direction. It's not a good idea. How do we regain stamina? The rhino is just going for it. I don't think we're gonna win. Finish. No. <laughs> we didn't stand a chance, like she just never ran out of stamina. I <laughs> I wonder who crossed first. Another common RT game L. You need to use your voice to play this game. They even give you the option to just not play this. Like even Nintendo knows, like people aren't gonna really like this one, I think. Stop. Hey guys, welcome back to Fortnite Gaming. Uh, uh, wait, no, it's not working. It's not working. Why is it only stuck at this one end? Uh. Oh my god, that kills him. I can't get her. I can't go that low. Almost got her. You didn't put your heart into it. Uh, I, sh I should have got off. I should have just screamed. Well, 10 dice of the total. The dice total 40 or more, you get to move ahead and just win the game instantly. We actually got to have luck on the dice. No, that that's alarmingly high, I think. Oh, just barely. Just barely. We actually have a chance now. Yeah, I need 27. We actually got it. We have a chance. I just need to roll an above average. And if we get it, we just instantly win. <laughs> no, no, it's, of course not. Oh god, that's so pretty. Well, I guess you win. I, will, I was certainly outplayed. Probably a, te a test of skill. Congratulations, Irina wins the game. 
it's the end. Reviews? You can rate the games you played. <laughs> Let's try Me Fashion Plaza. Throw off your style in Me Fashion Plaza, a costume collecting board game. You can go around the plaza and step on stage to show off the outfits you've put together. <laughs> we'll go with Marius. Marius looks like he's having a jolly old time. How happy he is. Mario at home? Oh, you're so mean. Leave, leave him alone. He's like a sweet old man. Like, look at him. He's so nerdy. For a one versus rivals game, you will get to pick a costume piece of your choice if you win. Oh, so you just want to win those. What does this have to do with fashion? I mean, I don't think all the mini games are going to be like related to it. Wait, do we have to score seven times? Yeah, we do have to score seven times, I think. Oh, come on, Marius. People are making fun of you. Show them what you got. I feel like Marius is the kind of man who would make his own tomato sauce. You know, you just come home from work and like he's been working away in the kitchen. Of course, you know, this is rated four stars, so it's above everything else. So of course it is. Best costume in the game. Congratulations, Marius. It's time to take center stage and show off your outfit. Oh, so when you do a lap, you have to assemble your costume. He's got the shoes we need. Oh, can I like beat him up or something if I land in the same space and take his shoes? Wait, 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 wait. It's actually quite hard to turn. No, Marius. <laughs> okay, uh, I just want the shoes then, because I have a, I have a complete matching outfit. Fashion challenge. Depending on how well you do in this game, you will win different fashionable prizes. And of course, you know, nothing decides uh, who's the most fashionable, like a good old long jump. You don't pole vault to get your clothes. What kind of stores are you shopping at? It's, it's on a when it's on a really high shelf. You can just straight up just fly. <laughs> 67 meters jump. No, that's awful. It's just, look, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know the angle would go that high. Okay, but no, no one's gonna do better than my man Marius. Watch him go. He is a force to be reckoned. I, no, he's he's going down. Better than RT. Another common RTL. Some of the full Mario costume, so you get double the points. A lot of style I want. I've shown off your costume. You get. You get a costume piece plus a specialty roll. I need to stop it when it's in purple. I, that, I very clearly didn't stop it there, but okay. Funny thing is, right, we joke about it, this game. Okay? I'm convinced of this. A lot of like the most like kind of childish Nintendo games where it's like, yeah, it's Mario and he jumps. They are made for like the adult kind of more like kind of hardcore audience. Call of Duty, which tries to take itself so seriously in comparison, it, it's literally made for children. I, I see that with loads of games. Like, remember, like, a new Kirby comes out. You don't see little Timmy where it's like, yeah, I love Kirby. No, it's like, like, like 35 year old man's like, fucking yes. I've been waiting years for this. Just think about it, right? Like, even when you're a kid, it's like, oh no, like, you, you, you can't watch that movie. That's a grown up movie. Like, I, I'm thinking of, like, even stuff like Lord of the Rings that's like, no, no, you don't want to watch that. Kid logic is absolutely. You're not the boss of me, I'm gonna watch it. And then like, if it's E for everyone, yo, that's an 18 plus game right there. The fact you shouldn't makes you want some more. Exactly, that's, that's exactly how it works. It's like using the age rating as an actual selling point. Like we party you, the audience for this game, as of right now is probably, I mean, I mean I'm 27. I might be the only audience playing this game right now. You're more than halfway to 50, someone ban that person. No, we're not having another existential dread stream. We're not, we, we did this with like the Wii games the other day. Two more years until you're halfway to 60. Mods, actually ban this person. Get him out of here. Care, <laughs> actually ban them. <laughs> don't actually ban them. Don't, don't actually, don't. <laughs> what was it like when there were dinosaurs? <laughs> no, we're not doing this again. We need to have, a, we, we want to just have fun playing Wii and Wii U games this next while, okay? Is it nostalgic dressed like an ancient Roman? Shut, shut the YouTube up. <laughs> the AI has got this down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, we actually get a costume piece, though. That, that's actually amazing. Game second. Costume piece from a set of your choice. Uh, give me the shoes, please. Wait, does it not give me this? Oh, it doesn't give me the specific. No, I don't need a third one. I, I don't need this many copies. The thing clearly shows pants. It, I'm stupid. What do you want me to say? I got it wrong. Oh, you're being so mean today. Clip that! Don't bully the elderly chat and you've highlighted the message so there's higher chance I see it. I let him rest, he's so tired. Is, is every Wii game just gonna be like this? It's like, oh, what? 
what game is Grandad got for us on stream today? <laughs> is that just what it's gonna be like now? Oh, you just steal. You win this minigame, you get to steal one of your opponent's costume pieces. Good luck to you both. Oh, we could have stolen Marius' shoes. No, no, no one has the other cowboy outfit, do they? This, there's nothing that's even worth stealing. I can steal his clown hat. Oh, stealing it right at the end. We're taking his hat. Marius' is chat stepdad. He's already enough of a clown without the hat. Do you mean me or Marius? Uh, maybe I shouldn't clarify for the sake of my own self-esteem, actually. You get to steal one costume piece from any rival player who placed after you. Oh no, Marius, I'm so sorry, but I need your trousers. We're taking everything from this poor man. Boots are quite far in. They are 15 away. Okay, so we might as well just roll the times three dice, and maybe we just get lucky and roll a five. <laughs> That's really awful. <laughs> but if we win, we can get the boots. We just The problem is we might not make it around the board. Oh my god, I think this is actually going to be a game that utilizes the gamepad in the correct way. Was I taking advantage of a second screen that other people can't see? I never thought I'd see the day. It's actually been used correctly. Not after a good start, though. Wait, do I win? Oh, round two. Okay. I only have one diamond left now. We're good. So out of place. They, like, double guess it. And now they'll pick the big chest. So you don't put it there. Put it in this random one. I looked it up, this is somewhat false. There's a mini game on turn 15, and if you win that, then you can instantly move to the stage. Are, are we meta gaming? We party you. Alright, I got it. We gotta get it. Secure our victory. There it is. No, Marius, no! Winner got a total of 54 points. I wonder who it could be. Well, I was fantastic in this one. There's, there's so many games here that I just I simply cannot play. I'd love to give Fast Food Frenzy a try. I, I, I could try this, hang on. Welcome to I Want Donald's. Fast Food Frenzy is a fast food game where one player is the cashier and the others are hungry customers who want to order something to eat. Customers shout out what they want as the cashier takes orders. Oh, okay, so, oh, so this is almost like less entertaining than I thought it was. Oh, I see what's happening. It, there's supposed to be multiple friends. This doesn't even work with two players. Because there's only one person ordering. So this is this is all of his food. And I want I do. I hope to see you again super. Another delicious... It's over. It's already over. I was thinking you might have to serve customers or something like that. Here's your espresso. Here's another espresso. Did you order an espresso? Another espresso for you there. Here's an additional espresso. You gotta, you gotta, I know you got a long night ahead of you. Some of those coffee cups are hanging on by the edge. He's just gonna start picking up every cup and taking like a sip. Oh, there are other ones you can play with one player, but um, because it's on the Wii U gamepad, I can't show you any of them. There's no audio. I don't know if you can hear that. There's not even any music. Well, I mean, it's kind of sad. Balldozer is a game where you complete compete for points by dropping balls in the balldozer machine. I'll out in a minigame at the start of each turn. The higher you, you're placed in the minigame, the more balls you'll get to drop in the balldozer. A lot of balls. You get two balls. I want to drop them on this side. I'll, I'll take it. Potato, carrot, onion. I've already forgotten. I've, I've, he's got a lot of carrots and onions. What happens if we just get it perfect? Oh, I don't- okay, right, they, they just mess it up at the end. I mean, surely there was a second potato at some point. I thought he put in, like, three of them. They're all just- We've already established there's no corn. Why- why would you put it in again? Bonus time, Steven. Avalanche of balls will now drop into the machine. Oh, look at them go. Okay- oh, good lord. No, that wasn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. It was like a very calm avalanche. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, okay, I, I might just lose now. <laughs> calm down, Eduardo. Like, look how many he's got. He's got 39. Oh, no, I don't come back from that. <laughs> what, what do I even do? <laughs> just, they're just falling out already. 
making it even worse. <laughs> it did nothing. And that last place is Shishi, just 36 points behind the leader. Like, party Phil, there's no need to rub it in. Like, she's already struggling enough. You're just gonna make her cry. First opponent's balloons with a toy hammer, keep your balloons safe, and then pop to win the game. Party Phil is an asshole. Oh, okay, I guess I'm inst- <laughs> It was so fast. Yeah, there's probably gonna be another avalanche here for Shishi. You might be able to catch up quite a bit. Oh god, love you, Shishi. You get one ball to make a difference. Please. Oh, this is so sad. Yo, Eduardo had two points. Five points. 39. As a Phil, I would like to say I have no relation to party Phil, and I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> we, we need to distance ourselves from this Phil. He's given all the other Phils a bad name. 